Kaliningrad will become one of the main centers of the Russia-NATO war. The states of the North Atlantic Alliance will react if Russia dares to challenge the bloc aiming at Kaliningrad in the first place, thinks the Lithuanian ambassador to Sweden, Linas Linkevichas. According to him, after Sweden's NATO accession, the Baltic Sea has become an internal NATO sea. If Russia dares to challenge NATO, Kaliningrad would be neutralized first. Russia's previous false accusations that it is surrounded by NATO are now becoming a reality. Linkovichas emphasized. At the same time, the diplomat did not specify what exactly he meant by the word neutralized. Sweden actively pursued membership to ensure a collective defense strategy following in the footsteps of Finland, which joined NATO in April last year. Nevertheless, analysts have warned that Sweden, once a non-aligned Nordic country, may now face increased risks of being drawn into conflicts. Sweden's NATO membership means the abandonment of its historical policy of non-alignment and neutrality. Analysts argue that NATO's continued enlargement will reshape European security dynamics and potentially strain Russia's geopolitical position. Nicholas Locker and Heli Hortela from the Center for the New American Security expressed concerns that Moscow may perceive NATO's expansion as a threat, leading to short- and long-term challenges. Russian Defense Ministry publications warn of the security implications of NATO troops and equipment on Finnish and Swedish territory. Locker and Hortela highlighted that Russia's border with NATO will extend from the Arctic Ocean to the Baltic Sea, which will permanently alter the European security architecture and erode Russia's geopolitical position. Russia buys Starlink equipment for military use through Arab countries. Russia is purchasing Starlink satellite internet terminals manufactured by Elon Musk's SpaceX company in Arab countries. Press service of Ukraine's defense intelligence said this. Ukraine's defense intelligence reports that the aggressor state of Russia is buying communication equipment, including Starlink satellite internet terminals, in Arab countries for use in warfare, the statement said. The intelligence indicated that Russian occupiers discussed the possibility of purchasing Starlink satellite communication terminals in a recently intercepted radio message. During this conversation, a Russian occupier mentions that Arabs are supplying the full set of equipment, including wires and Wi-Fi routers, and that the cost of purchasing one Starlink terminal amounts to 200,000 rubles or approximately 2,200 US dollars. Earlier, Ukraine's defense intelligence confirmed that Russian occupying forces were using Starlink satellite communications systems and reported that Russia continues to engage in so-called parallel trading, purchasing Starlink through third parties. Andriy Yusov, representative of Ukraine's defense intelligence, said that Russians began to use Starlink on the front lines in a more systematic and organized manner. The invaders are betting on these devices and means. Of course, work is ongoing to eliminate this threat. We will not disclose the nature of this threat right now. The Russians claimed they did not use Starlink in combat operations as the system is not officially certified in Russia. Russia's attack on NATO. Expert names condition and several scenarios. Russia could potentially launch an attack on NATO countries if it has the resources for another military conflict besides the ongoing war against Ukraine. This could occur following the so-called Crimean scenario. However, such an attack could unfold through several scenarios beyond the Crimean one. According to Alexander Musienko, the head of the Center for Military Legal Studies, the type of war considered is crucial. While a full-scale aggression like the one seen in the war with Ukraine is unlikely, a conflict following the Crimean scenario is entirely feasible. If we take a war with the use of aviation, long-range missiles, cyber attacks, provoking unrest within NATO countries, with little green men who can land in a conventional Latvia, Lithuania or Estonia, then it is possible. The entire Russian military machine is preparing to wage a war against NATO, Musienko said in a commentary to RBC Ukraine. According to the analyst, there are several conflict scenarios between NATO and Russia, one of which is the previously mentioned Crimean scenario. For example, a month or two later, in Latvia, where there is a Russian-speaking community, some kind of unrest begins, during which helicopters from Belarus arrive, from which 
Little Green Men land and begin to support the unrest. At this time, NATO will try to decide whether it was Russia that attacked or some terrorists, he explained. Another scenario, according to Musienko, is an attempted Russian landing on Gotland, the largest Swedish island in the Baltic Sea, using the Baltic Sea as a base. Alternatively, Russian ships could block Denmark's exit to the Baltic Sea to see how NATO would react, whether it would shell the Russian ships or try to force them back to the Baltic Sea. Russian aggression towards Poland is totally possible, the expert believes. Such aggression is always considered from two potential directions, Belarus and Kaliningrad, and accordingly, this Suwalki corridor. This is the most threatening direction, he explained.